And India's junior minister of commerce and power, Duram Ramesh, says the country's deal with the French nuclear group Areva will strengthen bilateral ties, also making a positive impact on India's greenhouse emissions. France's state-controlled Areva signed a memorandum of understanding in New Delhi on Wednesday, agreeing to build up up to six technologically advanced nuclear reactors in India in a deal worth 30 billion euros. Wang Duyan has more. Jairam Ramesh was addressing a conference on the theme of challenging climate change, innovative solutions, France and India join hands. The agreement with the Nuclear Power Corporation of India laid the ground for the construction of at least two evolutionary power reactors at Jadapur in India's Maharashtra state, with an option on four more. Arriva said an Indian deal for two nuclear reactors could be worth at least 8 billion euros. Charam Ramesh said that the deal would help the development of India's nuclear power program. With the help of France, uh, today India has taken a very giant step forward in expanding her nuclear power program, uh, and uh, which is undoubtedly going to have an impact uh, on the greenhouse gas emission scenario in this country. France's Minister of State for Foreign Trade also addressed the conference that in the last month uh, the trade from India to, to France has increased uh, by a sort of, uh, let's say, 20 percent uh, uh, last year, uh, while uh, in the same uh, time uh, exports from France were only uh, around uh, 3 percent. This is a, a good proof uh, for us that when we are talking about uh, uh, developing the exchange and doubling the exchange that it was uh, uh, said by our leaders, uh, it is of course uh, both ways. She also said that it is vital to ensure two-way transfer of technology to bring about industrial efficiency. This MOU signing comes in the wake of the bilateral agreement signed between India and France last year when the two countries agreed to work together for the development of the peaceful use of nuclear energy. Wendouyan, CCTV.